Hi there, Adam Ginsberg here. We've got a quick demonstration to show you how we extend in collaboration with Intelligent Instant Apps. So using Buzzy together with IBM Connections and IBM Watson Workspace. So to illustrate the example, uh, we've got a really simple demonstration. Uh, we've got a fictitious furniture company called Acme and they've got hundreds of products that they sell with 15 suppliers, hundreds of customers and around the globe and they handle about 300 plus shipments every year. So it's quite a challenge and if you look at uh, the head office we've got Gloria, um, she's an import export specialist, um, we've got Samantha who's a purchasing agent and we've got Raul the customer and the, one, of, one of the suppliers um, Paul. Remember that there's 15 of those and coordinating shipping, shipping um, containers around the globe to get from the supplier to the customer um, through import-export is, is quite a challenge. So in this example, we're going to use a number of different pieces. We're going to have Paul who's using the mobile app who can be actually log the application, um, communicate with Gloria who's using IBM Connections together with her team to coordinate and manage all the shipping across the company plus everything, all the other complications and in important information around um, shipping and, and um, all the shipments and getting making sure that the customers get what they need from, the, from their suppliers. And we're going to have a look at how we integrate this with, with Watson as well and engage who, um, Samantha who's just using uh, Watson Workspace. So let's let's have a look at the um, let's have a look at the de the demo. So let's uh, let's jump to a browser over here. Um, so the first part of the scenario we've got um, Samantha who's, who's using IBM Connections. Um, it's part of a community. These buzzy applications are integrated as part of the community, um, and we've got um, Paul who's our who's our supplier who's in Asia, who, who we need to make sure is included in the loop. Now, Paul's not a connections user. And this is what we mean by extending the collaboration outside of the organization. So we've got um, Gloria and her team who use this community, all important information, files, bookmarks, um, etc. cetera, um, all to do with import-export, internal employees, and then we've got Paul. Now, Paul can use the Instant Buzzy app, and this was an app that was literally created in a few minutes. Um, and that's also um, available, so um, Gloria can, can access that from within a connections user interface and she can um, check on things and, and so on. So if we have a look over here, so let's just have a look at the, um, the recent updates. Um, we'll actually have a look at that in a sec. So Paul's got two shipments that, 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 are, that he's shipping to Acme customers and he's going to go into his phone over here and he's going to look at this one over here. The shipping confidence is not that good. Um, so he's going to come in, this is invoice number AB333 um, and he's got to update, uh, uh, he's going to update the status of ES and he's going to say, uh oh, uh, custom strike. And um, so he could just use this mobile app or he could be doing it on his desktop. He just changes that. Now, um, Gloria, who's using IBM Connections, can get access to that information directly from directly from an activity stream. So if she clicks on that, she can actually have a look at um, that information. So this is bringing the applications that are outside of the organization, this shipping application, which was a custom build application. Again, it only took a few minutes to set up in Buzzy, but she can access that information directly from her activity stream, which is, which is pretty cool. So she can see over here all the details. She can also see things like the weather, um, and obviously that depends on you know the location, um, and it's location sensitive um, and, and a couple of other different uh, pieces of important data too. So, so now Gloria can start to make arrangements and notify people um, that the shipment's going to be late. Um, she might communicate with the customers. They in turn could also be using Buzzy to communicate, but for the purpose of this demo, we just kept it simple. So let's have a look at now um, Samantha, who's working with a customer. She's the purchasing agent. Now she's not a connections user in this example, she might be using connections for other things, but she can actually come in and do things. So she's using IBM Watson Workspace. And what we've done is we've enabled um, you to be able to very simply um, create, uh, create applications, um, uh, access applications directly from Watson Workspace. So we've created a custom action called Invoice, 
Um, so she'll just type in invoice and she can type in that invoice number that she's um, aware of and makes sh wants to find out the latest status. Now again, she might not be a connections user. Now what we'll see is that she can access that information um, straight from, from um, and this is again, this is a custom action that was literally set up in a couple of minutes. Um, she can access that information straight from Watson Workspace. So she goes, oh, oh she can see uh, there's an issue over here, custom strike. So she might have to um, communicate with um, Gloria and w resolve that and get the information to the customer so everybody's aware. So that's kind of the, 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 the quick demo of um, how those different pieces interact. And just again, just to give you that snapshot. So we had Paul using the mobile app. We've got Gloria using IBM Connections. And we've got Samantha using Watson Workspace, all to access that core information inside the application. So I wanted to show you a bit behind the scenes. So we're going to go in as, as Gloria. And again, she can customize this application. Um, I'm just going to go into the settings of the app. And I want to show you um, some of the rules and actions. So very simply, she set up a custom action. One of them over here is um, you, can, you can call these actions whatever. We called it invoice or invoice status. Um, it was a query on the, based on the invoice ID. And then it showed you the status of that row within the micro application created in Buzzy. So it gave her the latest status. And that allowed Gloria to be able to just go in and type slash Buzzy invoice and the invoice number and it would provide this information. In addition to that, when this application was set up, is when a new item is um, created in the application, it will also post to or notify the users, and the users will get notifications depending on their particular preference or user interface. So when, for example, the comments were edited by Joe, it would then notify all the followers, which happened to be Gloria using um, the connections interface. So she saw this Acme shipment uh, comment update was in her activity stream. So if you remember over here, so that was that posting. So that's as easy as it is to be able to post to things like activity stream. Obviously, if they've got the mobile app, they'll get a push notification. Um, and then also the custom workflow actions that allow us to create these within Watson Workspace. Now, obviously, IBM Connections can work independently without Watson Workspace. They could be accessing the Buzzy application, or you could be using Buzzy independently with Watson Workspace to be able to provide instant apps to Watson Workspace. In this example, everything working together, uh, but again, they can work independently. Thanks heaps for watching, and give it a crack. Um, get your instant app. So obviously, we own the IBM Connections Cloud Catalog. Um, you can get that. Um, you get, get that installed with a couple of clicks. Um, and also, just to give you a quick idea of the, of the architecture, really what we're talking about bringing together is we've got um, Watson Workspace and IBM Connections integrated with Buzzy. We also integrate with things like IBM Watson for things like speech and, and bots and all sorts of stuff. So have a look at some of our other examples out there. Thanks again for watching, and uh, let us know what you're up to with Buzzy.